Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark, and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. In this channel, we cover quite a bit about UITFs and mutual funds. We cover a lot about Gcash, Ginvest, and recently, we've also been talking about Maya amongst the many UITFs and mutual fund options that we have here in the Philippines. So yes, we do cover a lot about the different funds out there, I give you a lot of updates throughout the many months or even years at this point. So in this video, we are stepping back a little and really talking about strategy. All of these funds are anyway professionally managed, so it's really up to you to see which fits your investment goals. I myself have been investing in mutual funds and UITFs for a good 10-15 years now, so I've noticed a lot of different investment styles that I've had when I was quite young with a lot of hair and now when I am not so young anymore. And I guess I've changed my strategy and investment approach as I learned more and understood more about investments. So today, we are covering three different investment styles that you can take on as you invest in mutual funds and UITF specifically. Again, these different styles I've taken on at some point so I can definitely relate and understand where you're coming from. What are these three investment styles and which one are you? Stick around and let's find out. Let's go! So again, what we're covering here are different investment styles that you could have for UITFs and mutual funds. Sure, they may seem like the easier set of investment instruments when you compare to stocks, bonds, even crypto or forex, but I think it's worthwhile to step back and see how you can actually change your investment approach. So number one, perhaps this is the most detailed one and the most complicated one. I would call this investing approach as the researcher. So those taking on this investment mindset might actually be very similar to how people approach buying into stocks. So for me, I did this when I was quite younger. You actually take a very careful and calculated approach when it comes to investing in UITFs and mutual funds. As the name suggests, you do your own research. You're probably taking into consideration how the local and global markets are performing right now. Perhaps you are even dissecting and looking into the individual stocks that would comprise the fund that you're looking at. What you are probably trying to do is to perfectly time your entry. You are trying to get in there when the market dips, when you can of course buy the fund at its cheapest or at its best value. As you consider the different factors, the macro fundamentals of when you should be getting into that fund. Now while this is a great approach to investing with practically anything, I think the careful research in trying to time the market would actually better fit as a strategy when you invest in stocks because the problem with mutual funds and UITFs is that even when you are trying to perfectly time your entry, you really still have to factor in the processing time. You can't actually predict what's gonna happen. Perhaps the market swings up or perhaps the market swings down. So after all that research, you really can't perfectly time UITFs and mutual funds anyway. I guess this is useful when you are trying to time the market with a longer investment horizon, perhaps weeks or even months when you would be investing in a certain fund. So that's when it's useful. But other than that, this careful research, this researcher method, I think you don't have to be so specific with your approach to UITFs and mutual funds. So let's move on to the second investment style. I call this the saver. As I shared earlier and in many videos in the past, investing in mutual funds and UITFs actually took quite a lot because previously, the minimum investment would really be in the tens, fifties, or even in the hundreds of thousands of pesos. Case in point, I've mentioned to you the BPI US Equity Feeder Fund that I heavily invest in. So even up to just two years ago, to be able to invest in this fund, you would have to save up $500 each time that you would enter a position. So more or less, that's 25,000 to 30,000 pesos. So to be able to save that, it really took some time, maybe a few months at a time before I could invest in the fund again. So this is what I mean by the saver investment approach. So you have your target funds in mind, which ones you want to invest in. My investment into these funds wasn't really a matter of timing or research anymore, but really a matter of putting together the funds that I could invest in and give it to the bank. But the problem with this approach is some irregularity on when you are able to save the money. You might be investing in different intervals. The market may be really up or the market may be really down. It comes at random intervals, again, when you are able to save the money. 
So I did this quite a bit. The problem then was really trying to meet that minimum investment. But now it's great that more investment products have really lowered the minimum of the investment. So this saver investment approach doesn't apply as much anymore. With investment funds that have been spearheaded by Atram and ALFM, mainly through Gcash and Maya, it's now easier to be regularly investing, which leads us to number three. So the third type of UITF and mutual fund investing is the routine investor. So this investor, as the name suggests, regularly invests in investment funds. Regular investing is actually what's recommended by most financial gurus. While previously, when minimum investments were still high, regular investing came in the form of doing it monthly, perhaps every payday, or perhaps as frequent as every week. But with the minimums really going down, now you can invest in Atram and ALFM funds for as little as 50 pesos. So, as shared in many previous videos, what I've been doing is actually investing daily. Admittedly, this is a tedious process, but for me, I see the benefits of this as me no longer trying to time the market. I no longer have to be too fearful that I may be investing low or high. It doesn't matter anyway because my investment amount is very small. And you might be thinking, so what's the point of that? If you invest small, don't you get your returns quite small too? While that's true, a little every day actually goes a long way. Initially, this was just a theoretical approach. I made a video on this early last year. The theory then was how I would invest $1 daily in the S&P 500. I computed for it going to years back. You can check out that video later. There will be a link down below. And after that theoretical video, I actually put it into practice. And with a video that I did earlier in the year, I've showed you my results on how investing $1 daily in the S&P 500 is actually working out for me. And this approach I am continuing, I'm actually investing 50 pesos each day in the Atram Philippine Smart Equity Index Fund via Gcash. I've continued to invest $1 daily in the S&P 500 via the Shari Shari app. And also since the BPI US Equity Feeder Fund is now taking in investments for as little as $1, I'm also doing it through the BPI US Equity Feeder Fund. So for these three different investment styles of being the researcher, the saver, or the routine investor, which one are you? I think each one actually has its own pros and cons. And among the three, there is actually not one better than the other. I think the best one would be a little blend of each one. Again, any of these would be effective. It really depends on your investment horizon and your investment goals. So what do you think? What's your current approach to UITFs and mutual funds? If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy investing.